right. What's going on, guys? Facebook world. Boom. All right. Boom. Awesome, guys. Feet together. Oh. Okay, best you can, guys. Front roll, back roll. That's all I'm going to do. Tuck, limited roll, back, forward. more seconds on this guys. 30 more, 30 more. Time. Let's finish our warm up with some Spider Man push ups, guys. Good straight position. And come down. Bring that knee up. You need two like coaches, modified version. Okay guys, uh, we're gonna attack the back and a little bit of turtle this month. Okay guys, so we'll be moving from turtle, back takes and things like that, and even just attacking from the back. So hopefully you guys got a buddy at home or grappling dummy, and we can use that as our partner. We're gonna start with just kind of a review, guys. Some of our fundamental things from here. Remember, when I'm here, I want to be good backpack position, meaning my overhook is first and my underhook is second. That way, if they're trying to strip guys, I still have the choking hand in play. Okay. First choke we're going to hit here, we're going to go for the rear naked choke. Okay. For me, I retract this hook. That my uh, overhook, I bring it and I'm gonna use this little thumb right here and I drive right across the draw line here. And as I do, it lets me dig up underneath that chin. Once I cross the center line, I'm ripping it to here. Now, we never ever wanna see this hand again. So it's not this big motion, guys, kinda like maybe you've uh, seen in beginning jujitsu where it's grab the bicep and hide it. I'm literally, gonna be here it comes out and it just slides straight over just like this chin tucks guys head comes down remember from a self-defense aspect that they might be trying to like gouge in our eyes or whatever or they're punching up the top of my head here my finish my shoulder blades are coming together my shoulders are coming up towards the ceiling and bring my elbows together as I squeeze now if you don't have buddy or whatever certainly you can be here right good backpack position retract dig wrap this one comes out over the top of that choking hand straight to here behind the knee head drops and I squeeze nice and tight we can work this side to side so again I have my overhook my backpack right here right retract I'm looking for that blade to dig straight through, right to here. This one comes out and over the top to here. Remember guys, we want back of the hand to the back of the head, right at the base. I'm just creating a frame there. We're not really pushing hard with it, it's just there. Here to here, we squeeze. Here. Trap. 
fat, dead rat here, just like this, and squeeze. So your own shin and knee can be your squeezing partner. Again, if you guys got a uh, grappling bag too, you can definitely use that. I know some of you guys are getting grappling dummies. Here, here, dig through, nice and deep. Through, behind, straight to here, and squeeze. This drill right here, guys, is really good for strengthening that uh, particular choke as well, that uh, rear naked choke or monte long. So this one I use a lot. Just here, through, dig. 30 more seconds, guys. Okay, time. Quick review on the short choke. Same setup, guys. I'll retract and use this as my digging tool. And a lot of times, as you dig to here, they capture the arm out here, like that. And now it's like, it's gonna be hard for me to like finish digging this across. So I'm in position now for that short choke. This hand comes out. It's gonna come to the top of the shoulder here, and I gable grip to here. This elbow is tucked tight behind. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually leveraging straight back so it looks like this. And I'm pulling in to get that finish across the throat to here. So I come here to here and I squeeze till we get the finish. Again, guys, if you're here, we can retract. Oh, I only made it to here. Gable grip, practice that tuck, pull it in. Retract. That thumb, that bone right there, digs across the neck, straight to here. Out, palm up, capture to here, and I pull it in, working that side to side, guys. And of course, if you have a partner, even better, but if we're flying solo, this is how we're drilling it. Here. going on, Alex? Nice work, everyone. Keep drilling. What's up, Edgar? How are you, Brett? Okay, time. Good, guys. Let's move along. I am ripping through your fundamentals, guys, but it's important to review, guys, uh, all those key little details. It's easy to forget some of these things. Okay, basic choke. I'm gonna open the lapel. My underhook opens lapel. Hand slides thumb in to here. As I slide this up and towards the neck, I pull the lapel down to make it tighter to here. From here, underhook shoots straight across, captures the lapel on the far side. I'm gonna bring that elbow back, just kinda like I'm hitting that uh, short choke, and as I do, I'm pulling this lapel down to the floor, and I'm cutting a small angle with it. I'm actually shooting out to the side just a little bit. I'll loosen so she's got room to breathe. You guys see that? Okay, one more time. Open, thumb in, here. Over, we go, and we pull. Okay, if you're flying solo, you can actually pop your key top off. You're gonna ride it up and over the knee, just like this, okay? We're here, open, shoot across, catch, and then I can pull straight down. I should be cutting that little angle out. So again, got good backpack here. I practice my open, thumb in, pulling down on the lapel. I capture to here, I shoot across to the far one, turn, 
and pull. And you guys can work both sides too by switching off the knees. Here, we're here, open, shoot, pull. Shoot across, here. Side to side on that one with your key tops. And hopefully too, you guys have built that grappling dummy already we've talked about, or you've ordered one online. That thing's awesome. 30 seconds, guys. Boom. Okay. Now we're going to go with arm raise. So again, I open, I shoot the thumb in to here. I've got it nice and tight. She's smart, she's blocking my hand, and she's hiding that far lapel. I'm going to shoot deep and up and over to come up behind the head and pull off to the side. Again, it's that same motion of pulling through to here. One more time. Open, thumb in. We shoot high, through, and to the side. Get our finish from there. This one's going to be a little tougher to simulate, but you can still practice those motions. I'm here, up, I shoot straight to here, I act like I want it, bring it up and over behind the knee, pull, good back path, open, thumb into the lapel here. I can't reach, it's blocked. Up, through, behind, and extend. You can do it side to side. Nice, good work everyone. guys okay time now we're gonna work our basic arm bar off the back guys I'll show you kind of solo drill here in a minute I'm using that underhook here to capture this motion is one you want to get used to over the head and get ready to push away as I do that, I'm going to throw her to the side. This leg is going to come out, throwing to here, capturing, okay? Nice tight pinch, right? Legs extended and I'm heavy. So, one more time just with that motion. My underhook is my attack, attacking arm. I'm here. I shoot through, capture. This one goes over the top. Here, I'm pushing and guiding away. As I do, this bottom hook is gonna come out. I throw straight to here. Boom, okay. So, you're flying solo. We're here. All I'm gonna do, shoot one, roll two, throw three. Straight to there. Just practicing that exact motion. Underhook, shoot, over, I'm throwing. I'm lifting this leg here, up and over. Again, if you have the dummy, you can hit the full finish, bridging all the way through. We can be side to side on this one too. Underhook shoots over the head. I'm pushing out and away and throwing, bringing my legs over, knees are pinched tight, extension here. Should be a nice, good, easy, smooth motion. Notice too guys, most of my pivot is here on my tailbone, okay? Like I should be able to kind of spin like I'm a turtle almost. Underhook, over, throw, capture, right to here. Boom. Okay, nice job guys. Okay, again, that's just a quick review for you guys. A little reminder, we'll be digging more into some of these submissions and things like that. 
as the month progresses and ways that we're getting to the back as well, okay? Now, we're gonna go ahead. Hopefully you have pillow, dummy, something like that. We're actually gonna do our conditioning round, okay? We're gonna do it more like kind of an MMA round to where there's gonna be striking involved. I'm gonna be guiding you guys through different positions, okay? So if you got your D-top on, you can pop it off. If you wanna leave it on while you do it, totally cool. But this is a good exercise. This will also help you understand in self-defense when and where like you could possibly be striking. Okay, guys? So, everybody hop into position for me. We're gonna start in the mouth, right here. I want you guys striking with me, too. Okay, and when I call, I'll say submit. You can think about whatever submissions you know off the top of your head from the mount position. Okay, guys? So go ahead, start striking. You can use elbows, You're moving the whole time. Busy, busy. Sub. Right back to it. Sub. Switch, knee on belly. Sub. Right back to it, knee on belly position. Switch your knee on belly, pop it over. Busy, busy. Down to side control. Be active the whole time. So, right back to it. Busy. So, Reverse start. Now. Push that pace with those strikes, guys. Even if you're just punching the air, push that pace. So, right back to striking. North, south. Push 
Ничего не надо sweating a little bit. Got that cardio up. All right, guys. Let's work on some of our stretching. Staying nice and limber. Okay, guys. Start from standing. We're going to go here. Feet nice and wide. Here. Start to reach to the floor. Spread it out as far as you guys can go. Okay. We're gonna walk it forward. We're gonna walk it back. Try to walk back a little bit more. Your toes should almost be coming up off the floor. Balance it out. Back to that center point. Walk to your left now. Walk it over to your right. Hands on the mat, walk those feet together. Here, once we get together, we're gonna go back down, reach for those toes. Try to make sure you're keeping your spine nice and straight, guys. Don't be like slumped. Try to keep it there. Okay, on the floor, guys. Feet together, good butterfly position. Pull it in. Work at getting those knees to come closer to the mat. Should get a nice good deep stretch out of this. Nice, right, so we're gonna take one leg, left leg, kick it straight forward, and I'm gonna reach for those toes. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Flat onto our back. We're going to take our right leg, bring our knee to our chest. We're going to pull it across to here. Make sure your shoulder blades are staying on the mat. If your shoulder blade is getting pulled up on that opposite side, relieve a little bit of pressure. That's about as far as you need to go right now. Stretching, guys, is super important not only for jujitsu, but especially because I know a lot of us are probably just sitting around kind of during the day at the computer working and stuff like that. We really got to maintain our flexibility. If you want to make it a little more tense, bring your knee higher to your chest. Three, two, one. Other side, up, and across. Nice job, everybody. Hold it up. Remember to breathe. Don't sit there and hold your breath. I know some of this is tight and probably tense. It's okay. Just breathe through it. All 
and release. Deep breath in, set it up nice and slow. And come here. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for joining today. Uh, if you're on Facebook Live, let me know what you guys thought about the MMA conditioning round. Did you guys have fun with it? Tell me what your thoughts are. Okay, guys, see you guys tomorrow. Feet together. Pulse!